Today you join me at the beautiful Bishop's Bowl Fishery in Warwickshire. Today is a bit of a treat for myself. I'm just sat in the box and doing a bit of pole fishing, which is something I only do two or three times a year. So by no means an expert, I'm just gonna come here and try and catch a few fish. I've never fished this particular lake before. I don't know what's in here. I don't know how I'm gonna approach it. I'm gonna set up a few different lines, a few different baits, see what comes along really. I think my intent at the moment is to try and catch as many different species as I can, and then go from there and see if we can build a bit of a weight. So for now, I'm all set up and ready to go. Bishop's Balls has got something for everyone. Whatever type of fishing you're into, there is something here for you. There's probably six, maybe eight lakes from the complex. Behind me somewhere, there's a specimen carp lake. It's got carp over 30 pounds in it. You've got a carp's runs water. You've got match bagging water. And then you've got the lake that we're on today, Walworth. And Walworth is a really pleasant mixed fishery where you can catch anything. I didn't want to come and just catch a load of sort of small match size carp, one, two, three pound. I wanted to have a mixed day pleasure fishing. It's exactly what we've done. I've had tench, skimmers, bream, eyed, roach, rudd, perch, everything you'd expect from a mixed fishery. It's been a really, really good day. The tickets here on the lake I'm fishing are eight pounds and the rest are sort of 10 to 12 pounds. So it's an open access day ticket fishery. Anyone can turn up, pay their money and there's something here for you. Also on site is a really heavily stocked tackle shop. No matter what you've forgotten and what you're fishing for, there is something in that shop for you. Specimen carp, match fishing, it's all covered in that shop. Really handy to pop in there. Also in there is a cafe and they do breakfast rolls for the early part of the morning. So as I said at the beginning, I'm gonna try and fish a number of different lines and try and catch a few different species. The first one I'm gonna fish on is my sort of catch all, maybe silvers eyed, some skimmers hopefully. And I'm gonna fish up to the right hand side of the reeds over a little bit of caster and some two mil expanders. So I've got a 0.3 gram AS4 float. I've got some strung out uh, number eight shot and a couple of number 10 droppers down to one of the new acolyte hooks. So I'm gonna use the acolyte carp pellet. Now, although I'm only fishing for silvers and eyed, I am up against these reeds, so I need a bit of strength to get them away from there. I love these new acolyte hooks. They are a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones, but if you look at the sort of false economy, this hook will last all day for me. I don't need to change this. It's gonna stay sharp. The points are needle sharp, they're durable. I'm gonna use the same hook all day. So I'm gonna use these in my pleasure fishing, in my match fishing, in all types of fishing, purely because they're such a higher quality hook. So today I've started off fishing those three or four lines to my front. So left hand side of the reeds on the meat, right hand side of the reeds on some casters, straight down the middle on some casters up in the water and an edge rig. The edge rig never really got going and the caster rig straight down the middle up in the water never really got going. We did have that frost last night so the fish just even with this hot sunshine didn't come up in the water. The left hand side has had carp on it all day long and the right hand side again has been a real mixed bag. I've caught most of my fish from the right hand side. What I did do in the middle of the day was switch to a, a rig or a line down the middle of the track, only a couple of sections out, fed some milled expanders and some two mil expanders. And I was able to pick up a, a good run of skimmers, new net size skimmers there, two pound skimmers, which added to the overall weight for the day. So things are slowly starting to pick up. The sun's shining now, but we had a frost this morning. So it's not been that quick a start, but now I'm getting to a bit of a rhythm, cup a few casters in, drop the rig in, wait sort of five to ten minutes and catching a few fish. The way I fished the left hand side on the on the meat rig there isn't a huge amount of carp in here so I didn't want to spend too much time on that line or even risk spooking them so I fed it and dropped on it every sort of hour 45 minutes and I've had bites almost instantly every single time either from the carp or from the tench so rather than sit on it I've just dipped in and out and caught fish throughout the day. So I've been trickling a few two mil and a few casters onto that eyed line throughout. I knew it wouldn't be long given the amount of fish that were in the reed before sort of a few of these tents drifted out. And I've just caught this over the top of that eyed line. I'll pop them back in and see if there's any more. So the right hand side of the reeds on the casters has been the most productive line of the day, but also the most, fr most frustrating. I've not been able to get a run of fish going. We kicked off the day catching eyed one after another really quickly. And then as soon as they turned up, they've disappeared. I've not seen them again for the rest of the day. We then caught a few roach and rudd, some tench turned up and I caught some tench. And then for the last hour, I've been catching skimmers. Talking to Sean, the owner, he says that's, that's quite indicative of this lake. It will switch on in patches. And I would recommend anyone coming to fish here to have a number of lines going and then rotate through them and don't focus on one. So I myself don't actually fish many or any matches at all, but I still like to fish the pole. 
I find in certain circumstances it can't be beaten. The accuracy of your rig and your loose feed over the top cannot be beaten, especially today where we're fishing up against features such as the reeds and the islands and the bridge. The pole will allow you to fish the same spot over and over again and bait accurately directly over the top. One of the elements I personally enjoy the most, the pole fishing, is just so active. It's completely different to some of the specimen angling that I do where you set your trap and then that's you until you either catch a fish or you go home. With pole angling, you're constantly rotating those lines, making little changes, changing the depth, the bait, where you're fishing, what you're fishing for. And today's been a really good example. There wasn't one line where I caught more than two or three fish. I had to change, I had to change spots or bait or depth. And, and that's kept me busy all day. I've really enjoyed it and I've caught loads of different types of fish. So unfortunately, the first two carp that I hooked got the better of me in those reeds. So I've beefed everything up. I've gone to 0.19 all the way through to that big size 14 hook piece of meat, dropped it in, and luckily we managed to land the third one. And it's one of these beautiful Bishop's Bowls little carp. So if you're going to go out for a day's pleasure fishing, multi-species on the pole, there's a few things to remember. I said the first one is keep it simple. You don't need to overcomplicate every line for every species. If you look at my top kits, I've pretty much got the same float and the same rig on every single one. A nice spread out bulk, a couple of droppers, and as I say, that same float for every single species. Secondly, bring a variety of baits. You don't know what's going to be feeding on the day. The conditions could have changed since you were here last or even yesterday. So whilst yesterday might have been a bream and tench day, today could be a, a carp heavy day. So make sure you've got baits like maggots and casters for your silverfish, but also make sure you've got some pellet, corn, meat if the carp do switch on. When to rotate lines can only be worked out on the day and, and through experience. There are some days where you need to sit it out 45 minutes to an hour on each line, where on others, if you haven't had a bite in 10 minutes, they're clearly not there and it's time to move on. There's no hard and fast rules and you just need to work it out. What I would say is try not to exhaust a line, so don't keep catching it until they've all gone and then you've got to rebuild it again. Take two, three, four, five fish from a spot, refeed it and then move on and take four or five fish from that before you come back to your original line. So where do you fish when you turn up in these sort of mixed species or any sort of commercial fishery? Features will always hold fish. So today I was lucky, I've got a big reed bed to the front and I've got a bridge off to my right hand side and I've fished all three throughout the day. I would always have a margin spot on the go. As the year goes on, it gets warmer, the fish are going to frequent the edges more and more often, especially as more anglers fish and discard their bait at the end of the day. I would set that up early so you can fish for those fish when they arrive. Finally, I'll always have an open water, middle of the track line, ready to go in the deeper water or at the bottom of the first shelf. And this is normally a good line to catch skimmers on. Today, I've fished left-hand side of the reeds with meat for carp, right-hand side of the reeds with caster for everything else. I set up an edge line, didn't really fish it, and had a good run of skimmers down the middle on the track line. The biggest tip again I would give you either here or anywhere else is listen to the owners or bailiffs. So Sean here today has been absolutely incredible. He's put us on all the right spots with all the right baits and we have caught fish all day long. I cannot recommend him and his advice enough. I have an amazing day today here at Bishop's Bowl Fishery on Walworth Lake. I turned up, absolutely no idea what I was going to fish for, how I was going to fish for him and I've had this incredible mixed bag. Just because you don't fish matches doesn't mean you can't have a good day's pole fishing sport like this.